The Des Moines Public School District is always looking for ways to increase recycling and reduce waste. During the past year, the district reduced waste by 10%, saved $1,000 a month, and received $13,000 in recycling rebates. Just think, this ceiling tile was made out of recyclable material found in schools every day. Well, how is it made? Tina Lawrence, food service manager for Samuelson Elementary, orders milk for students on a regular basis. Tina, please explain how you determine the amount of milk to order each week. We first recalculate how many students will eat breakfast and lunch. We estimate um, the flavors that are offered, what the children will choose. Then we set a par level with the milk delivery guy and we work with him weekly on keeping that par set so the students do are able to receive all flavors of milk. At Anderson Erickson, milk cartons are filled every day and sent to local schools. Approximately 120,000 cartons are delivered on a weekly basis. Wow, that's a lot of milk cartons. Students at Samuelson move quickly through the lunch line, selecting their favorite items for lunch, including, you guessed it, milk, a daily favorite. Now the recycling process begins. Students help save the planet by recycling milk cartons as they return their trays to the appropriate location. Let's talk to Sarah and get feedback on why recycling is so important to students at Samuelson. Recycling is important at Samuelson because everyone uses paper each day. And when we recycle that paper, it helps the environment and us. Kim Fisher is the building chief who is responsible for making sure the cartons are appropriately placed in a separate trash can and disposed openly in the recycling container outside. I am told that the most important part of the process is to be sure all the milk is removed from the carton and placed in the container to air out. Let's talk to Kim about her important role. The students here at Samuelson, they love recycling. And it only took them one day to learn how to recycle the milk cartons and there wasn't any extra work for me to do. In fact, it was less garbage going out to the dumpster after each lunch program. My responsibilities went from waste responsibility to recycling responsibility. And the benefits from recycling is less landfill capacity and the district saves money. Let's talk to the school principal, Mrs. Rorig, and see what she thinks about all this recycling going on. Recycling is very important to us here at Samuelson because we want to keep our valuable resources out of the landfill. For the last two years, we've had a fifth grade recycling club, and in every classroom and every common area of our building, we keep recycling bins. And then on Thursdays after school, the fifth grade students in the recycling club go around and collect the materials this is important because we are reducing the number of waste pickups as well as we're educating our students on the importance of preserving our environment for future generations. Hello, I'm Cody Allen with Waste Management. Over the past year, we've partnered with the Des Moines schools on helping them to divert their milk cartons from their waste to the landfill into their recycling. In doing so, we've seen a great deal of success. Congratulations, Des Moines schools. The process continues as recycling is delivered to Green Star, a local recycling company. Then it is off to Rewall, the local manufacturer of recycled materials. I bet you know by now something very interesting is about to happen to the milk cartons. Rewall is the first company in the United States to turn the entire beverage carton into building materials. Beverage cartons are about 80% fiber and about 20% plastic. It's a composite material that traditionally is hard to recycle because the plastic contaminates the paper and the paper contaminates the plastic. Instead of separating out these materials and recycling paper in one place and plastic in another, we leave them together in a composite panel that is both moisture resistant and durable. We do that right here in Des Moines. In order to get milk cartons and juice cartons from our community, we partner with groups like Green Star, Waste Management, Des Moines Public Schools, and other people who produce cartons and process them. And then we, in turn, turn them into products that can be used for construction that replace plywood and OSB and gypsum. We also make a ceiling tile product that works great in a suspended grid. When we started this business four years ago, only a handful of households in the United States had access to carton recycling. 
As of today, more than 50 million households have access to carton recycling. Somebody has to do something with all those cartons, and we believe the answer is rewall building materials. I'm Dave Silver, Facility Director of Des Moines Public Schools. It's no surprise to us that someone's taken initiative to start recycling milk cartons. We are very proud to work with Rewall Corporation in recycling milk cartons from our schools and look forward to using their products in the maintenance of our schools in our construction. You know, just an example of a ceiling tile made from recycled milk cartons. Thank you for joining me on this recycling journey. And remember, reduce, reuse, recycle.